Throughout my professional pilot career, I've been fortunate enough to fly TBMs for quite a few years. Well today, we're going to bring up the new TBM 940 and see what this thing's all about. Let's get this started. Gauge, NG climbing 13%. We introduce fuel, low idle, light up, low idle, light up, ITT on the rise, oil pressure on the rise, NG is going. Also, the timer is automatic with the engine start now. We don't have to set a separate. Nice, yes, yeah, timer's right there, so you don't have yep. to start it all in one your little watch. box. 40% okay. at 30. Now comes the second wind, it goes up to 50%. Generator engages, charging. Let's go to high idle, master caution. We have to wait, here we go. 33%. The propeller is becoming unfeathered. Unfeathered. All right, welcome aboard everybody. A really special treat today. We are on board in the TBM 940 with my friend Wayman. Wayman, how are you doing guys? Thanks for having us on board. First thing we're gonna do is just taxi away from this hangar so we're not uh, blowing the mechanics away. And we are listening to the ATIS right now. We'll get that. We have information. Echo. information echo 125 Zulu weather. Wind variable at four, visibility one zero, sky clear below one two thousand. Temperature two nine or two point two three, altimeter three zero zero five. Landing and departing runway one zero. Information echo. We're going to taxi up to spot five and we'll get our IFR clearance. We're going to have an IFR flight plan on file up to Cedar Key up in the northwest part of uh, Florida. It's a very short runway. I believe it's one of the shortest runways, public runways of all Florida, correct? Yeah, uh, 2355, 2355 feet. We're going to have five practicing. Let's put your Bahamas flying skills to the test in the TBM. Exactly. And pop on a ground TBM, uh, pardon me, for Cata 1, with information echo, I'd like to copy IFR clearance to Cedar Key. So Cata 1, pop the ground's cleared to uh, Cedar Key, via the Fort Lauderdale 6, departure, thunder, transition, then as filed, maintain 2000, expect flight level 280, one zero minutes after departure, departure frequency 119.7, squawk 3676. We're cut a one clear to Cedar Key via the Fort Lauderdale 6 departure, standard transition 2000, taking 280 and 10. Departure frequency 19.7, squawking 3676. Just got a one read back correct. And uh, runway 10 taxi via Alpha, cross runway 6 at Alpha. And uh, will you be ready upon reaching? We're cut a one taxi to runway 10 via Alpha, cross runway 6 affirmative, we'll be ready at the end. Scott 1, Roger Crossing 1 0, or correction, Crossing Way 6, monitor to Terra 1 to 5.4, and he'll call you as soon as we get the release. Scott 1, taxi to 10 0 via Alpha Cross 6, we'll monitor the tower. Alright, we got our taxi instructions, and we're cleared to cross runway 6 here. Yeah. Clear to the left, and clear to the right. So, wait a minute, I am really excited to be in this brand new TBM 940. It's got so many cool new features I'm looking forward to seeing today, and uh, it's going to be a fun time. It's going to be a great time, Steve. All right, we are going to pull up and hold short of 1-0 here. They're going to let us go, I believe, first. There's the hold short bars. Scott, a 1, runway 1-0, clear for takeoff, lighting 0 9 0 we're going to one clear for takeoff on runway one zero, heading zero nine or zero. It'll be next four six south five. We're going to practice a short field takeoff here. I'm going to run up the full power, holding the brakes, and we'll release. We're going to fly zero nine zero, go up to two thousand feet. This is one zero. 
We'll line up here in center line. All right, see your key, here we come. Holding the brakes. And oh, is set. There we go, brakes are released. It's right at 93% right now. Yeah, you can feel the full 850 shaft horsepower on this takeoff. Tower, and down, there's our rotation short, speed. Positive rate. We'll go gear selected up. I like the new handle too, how it oh, blinks red. Until yeah. uh, and gear is up. Turn left, left is zero. Good day. Good day. Okay, now half a mile southbound, I'm just going to kiss 2,400. Mike, I have this up. Miami departure, Fercata 1, 600 for 2,000, heading 290. Fercata 1, Miami departure, we're not contact, Miami, maintain 3,000. 3,000, Fercata 1. Alright, cleared up to 3,000. 3,000, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 4,000. 4,000, set. Set. 119, input 45, for 4, Yeah, you can feel the, a lot smoother engine with the 5 liter prop. Turn left. Heading 280. Left turn 280, so cut a one. Good view off our left wing down there, the boats. And Pompano Beach. It just throttled back to 100%. And we know the auto throttle is engaged because the AT light is on auto throttles. Okay, yeah, right here, the AT. So it's got an automatic engine protection system. Left turn heading 270 to join a Thunder transition. So cut a one, left turn 270. 270 to join Thunder Transition. There's our 270 heading, and we're going to level out here at 4,000 feet. All right, we'll put the autopilot on. There we go. All right, the autopilot is on. We're capturing 4,000 feet on a 270 heading to join the Thunder Transition. We got uh, Fort Lauderdale off our left wing off there. Delta 1904, track suite 10 o'clock and 6,000. You look down here at the iPad, you'll see there we are. Just took off out of Pompano. This is our routing. We're going to intercept. That magenta line, which is the Thunder Transition, LaBelle, Lakeland, radar vectors in to Cedar Key up there. We do have quite a bunch of weather off the Gulf Coast. We'll keep an eye on that. We do have an alternate set as an Ocala. We'll go there if we can't get into Cedar Key. And we're going to climb maintain, what we got, 280 on this flight? So climb maintain 9 or 1,000. climb maintain 9 or 1,000. set up. Flight level change. And now it's going to go pitch for 170 meters. again with the auto throttle. It auto man. Is this actually going to move on its own? It's moving. That's really wild. It went from 80% to 99% torque. That is awesome. So you can go into manual mode and just by switching this to manual from the FMS, and now we can dial in 130 and it'll hold 130 with the uh, flight level change button. Exactly. That's what I like climb rates with TBMs. I like to use 130 usually. Oh, yeah, they're, it's fast. Get up to altitude real quick. And how cool is that? We are Sakata 1 today. We got touch screen down here. Jetboo 2327, Miami departure, good morning, radar contact, climb maintain 5,000. All kinds of different features. So there's 130, now the airplane's going to pitch right for 130 and hold 130 in the climb. And look at this. Now it's throttling up to 250 knots, correct? Yep. And the throttle sports up slowly. You can see it moving up real slowly. And for me, that's a new feature of TBM. It's in general, at TBM, that's a new feature. All the TBMs prior to this do not have any auto throttle, so that's a really unique, cool yeah. uh, addition to what they added into this airplane. Yeah, it comes in really handy when flying into the terminal area, the class Bravo, that you're limited to 200 knots. Or when we're descending, we don't want to overspeed the airframe. So the, it, it, it no, 101 on the torque, so there we go, it's throttled back to keep it safe. Because you go in the yellow for a little bit, so exactly. it's maintaining a good uh, amount on the torque there, it's at 100%. Now we're out over the Florida Everglades, we've got the left wing there. We've got the cool winglets too on the TBM 940 here. So I believe this may be one of the first flights of a 940 in the United States. Oh yeah, this airplane came in... Uh, just a week ago, United, uh, and it's our new demonstrator for the 940 2019. Came in from France. Steve, you notice there's no wet compass on this aircraft? You're right, there normally is. Where, where, what's the deal with that, Wayman? Chicago 1, Cutting Miami 7132.45, Delphi, France. 
Miami Center, 3245, Circada 1, good day. Miami Center, Circada 1, um, 10,000, join the Thunder Transition. Circada 1, Miami Center, Roger, higher for you at this minute. Roger, Circada 1. The standby uh, mid-continent has a built-in compass which is which is with its own battery and that is uh November 983 like in the place of the word compass so what happens if you lose all your electronics uh? that has a four-hour backup battery oh four-hour backup battery so that's the safety feature in case you were to lose that yep okay if you can't get on the ground in four hours, you know we have bigger issues. Yeah. All right, so we're now in the Thunder transition. Just waiting to get higher. What's cool about the TBMs, you know, we can go up to 31,000, and you can also go in and land and take off on 2,300-foot long runways. So the one thing different with the newer TBMs compared to the A50FI is the center console here. You only have one lever, which makes it really easy. 850 I have, you know, you got your power lever for torque, your prop RPM, and then you also your condition lever. So it's a lot less stuff to have to mess with. I really do like the setup of this cockpit, though. It's it is beautiful. Uh, the G3000, and, you know, I've always been a steam gauge guy, but ever since I've been getting more on the Garmin 1000, you know, on the 3000s, there's so much uh, information available to you. Indeed. It is amazing how much stuff we have available to us. You just like pushing all these little buttons down here. Oh, the touch screen is the <laughs> best. Then we're going to stay in manual mode on this one. We're going to go to foot level change. We're going to dial this back to 130. That'll get us up there quicker. There we go, 130 is set. The safe way to climb. Charlie With this flight level change, the airplane will not stall out. It'll always hold what you have set up into the airplane. You still want to monitor what you, you know, put into the computer. Sometimes computers can mess up. But it's a lot safer mode compared to climbing in VS mode. And since we're now going to the flight levels, we'll go 2992 on the altimeter. And 2992 also set up in our standby. 1,000 feet to go. Got a good 3,500 feet a minute climb there. With a little rocket ship. What about our pressurization? It's automatic. Automatic pressurization too? Yep. Wow. We have here landing field elevation 11 feet at CDK. Right now we're at 5.2 Kevin differential with a Kevin altitude of 5,500. Wow, so that's really cool. So all your whole cabin pressurization system, you don't have to manually adjust it anymore. It does it all on its own. Exactly. All right, so we've leveled out 200, just past LaBelle on the flight plan here. Next stop is Lakeland. And then we'll be going direct into Cedar Key. So we're going to enjoy cruise altitude, and we'll catch you guys a little bit further down the line as we descend into Cedar Key. All right, we're in the descent here into Cedar Key. Currently out of 1 1,000, descending to 2,000. VS at 1,500 feet a minute now. So there is no weather available at Cedar Key. We use Cross City right next door over here. What they've got, it looks like light winds out of the south, southeast. 140 at, what was it, 5 knots? Yep. Piccata 1, do you have the uh, latest Cross City weather? Hey, firm. Piccata 1. Got one Roger CDK airport, 12 o'clock, 2 zero miles report when you have the field in sight. Roger report when you have it in sight, got a one. This will be my first time landing a TBM on this short of a runway, so I'm excited to see how it goes. Oh, you could do it. The TBM is a perfect We're aircraft to come to short fields with a low approach airspeed. I know an airplane that can go 31,000 feet, you know, get it fast, and then you also come in low and land in 2,300 foot runways. Yeah. Currently over the Gulf of Mexico, you can see the windows, that's 1,000 to go, 3,000 to 2,000. Dakota 1, Cedar Key Airport, 12 o'clock, 1,000 miles. 
Cedar Key Airport. Uh, for Cut 01, uh, yes, we do have Cedar Key inside. Cut 01, Roger, clear visual approach, Cedar Key Airport. Report cancellation by FR this frequency in the air on the ground through flight service. Change to advisory frequency approved. For Cut 01, I'd like to cancel IFR with the field inside. Auto throttle. IFR cancellation receipt, receipt, squawk VFR, frequency change approved. Have a good day. Cut 01, squawk and VFR today. All right, we've got the airport out here in front of us in sight. Two. Wait. Let's go to Unicom. Two, two, zero, southwest, seven, seven, one. Cedar Key traffic, uh, TBM, coming over the airfield. We'll be joining on that downwind, four, one, way, two, three, Cedar Key. So we're looking out the left wing here. And you'll see the windsock. Looks like we're going to have a little bit of a left crosswind, very slight. Yeah, that runway, Wayman, is small. Scary, huh? <laughs> it's very short. Well, you're a good pilot. I know if you can go into Cat K, you can go in here with the TBM. Yeah, I'm used to going to Cat K out there in the Bahamas. And, uh, you know, that's a, about the same size runway with, yeah. with Kodiaks. Oh, man, you should, that should be the money shot out of your left window. It is beautiful. I can see why you like to come here. Oh, it's gorgeous. This is a, definitely a really cool looking airport. I'm excited to try to land this thing here. <laughs> I think we'll be alright. You gotta remember go arounds are always an option. When in doubt, go around. Alright, we'll go first notch of flaps. Speed check, selected. And indicate. Two to key traffic, uh, TBM, Gulf Delta, Alpha, downwind, runway 23, Cedar Key. Gear down, selected. And indicator. I'm going to put your heading bug on one, on runway two, three, set. All right, we'll start, turn the left base here. And Cedar Key traffic, uh, TBM Gulf Delta Alpha, turning left base, for runway two, three, Cedar Key. And we'll go full flap selected. South Lakeland, Light Sport 314 Sierra, Lima, 10 miles southeast, inbound for full flap. And at, indicate. Uh, 4, so you have to remember, go arounds are always an option here. I don't like the way this feels, you know, we're we'll do a go around. All right, and we have inertia separator on, three greens, full flaps, auto throttle off, autopilot off, before landing checklist complete. Thank you. I'm going to be pitching for about 85 knots. Looking pretty good. Got a little bit of a crab with that crosswind. Yeah, it is short. Look at that. It's like a little aircraft carrier. Oh, yeah. We're a little bit of displaced threshold. There's a truck there coming yeah. across. Good. Just hold the crab here. There's not much of it. You can see the windsock off there to the little right. Getting some buffeting with the wind. That's the tree line. Go back to flight idle. Stall, stall, airspeed, stall, stall. And there we go. We'll go in the reverse. One thousand. Aerodynamic braking. And center line, and there you go. Awesome. Not bad. We Where to go, Steve-O? Floated a little bit right there. Any longer in a float, I would have definitely went did a go around, but yeah. I still felt like we still had plenty of runway. Oh, yeah. So, hey, welcome to Cedar Key, guys. Beautiful you morning here. Yep, gorgeous. We'll go into the ramp over here to the left, and we'll go check out the town. Hope you guys did enjoy that video. If you did, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more videos like this? It was really a blast having you guys ride along in the new, brand new TBM 940. And uh, we'll talk to you again someday soon. Wayman, thanks for having us on board. Anytime, Steve-O.